What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. Today I wanted to take a minute to share my thoughts about God. No, I'm kidding, of course not. Today we are going to talk about what is the best bulking cycle with SARMs, okay? And my personal experience and whatsoever. At first, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees or whatsoever. I don't pretend to be a doctor, don't listen to what I say, this is all my personal opinion and how I see things and what I would do to my body. Always go to a doctor for using any form of supplementation. Okay, now, I'm going to talk about the perfect bulking SARM only cycle and why, because this is something I'm currently doing actually and it's something I've done before. Um, and it's just the combination of two specific SARMs and I will clarify them as well and why would you use these together and now the first one I'm going to talk about is LGD4033 and just the oral form not the injectable magnolone or whatsoever it's also a possibility to stack it with MK677 but that's not what we are talking about right now and not what I'm currently doing so LGD4033, which is Ligandrol, is a selective androgen receptor modulator. Um, almost everybody heard of LGD, as well as Osterine and all these other SARMs. But um, I personally like LGD like the most of, of any of the SARMs out there because it gives you a little bit of that small bit amount of water retention, but the positive effects, and you get so full while working out, and just the weights shoot up in like. Every week you could lift two pounds heavier, you could get up like three pounds every week in weight. So that's, that, that's amazing. And then you should combine it with MK677, which is a human growth hormone secretagogue, which triggers your body into making more growth hormone itself. Now, it's also good for the recovery of the muscles and better sleep and also for longevity in my opinion. But the thing is with MK677, it causes a little bit of joint pain and some people always say like uh, MK677 actually helps prevent joint pain. Well, not for me, it, it's not working like that for me, but um, it gives me a little bit of pain in the wrists and in the shoulders, but at the end, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I stack it with LGD because you get the fullness from the LGD and you get the, as well as the fullness from coming from the growth hormone. Uh, actually because growth hormone really gives you a little bit of water retention as well but it shreds fat at some point so you get bigger and a little bit leaner at the same time so you're getting stronger you're gaining weight you're looking better vascular more more full like i said so i always take lgd like um now i'm at 10 milligrams like every morning and i do it in the morning because uh, the, my morning breakfast is also my pre-workout meal so after I finish that an hour after that I will go to the gym so I take 10 milligrams of LGD in the morning I combine it with 20 milligrams of um, MK677 normally I would do 10 milligrams in the morning 10 milligrams post of, or pre-workout you know and then 10 milligrams before bed but the thing is, if I work out in the morning, so then I just take it with, with the LGD instead and then up the dose to 20 milligrams. So I get the benefits, you know, while working out. And you can really notice the effects while working out. You're just so, so full and the energy is, is more and you got like strength for days. So that's crazy. I, I really love LGD4033 in combination with MK677. So what about side effects? I mean, a whole lot of guys wondering about side effects actually, but... Um, not any side effects at all, maybe a little bit of testosterone suppression coming from the LGD or a little bit of joint pain coming from the MK677, but that was it in my opinion. I didn't experience any other things at all, but just make sure you do a PCT afterwards as well. It depends on the length and the dosages you ran with the LGD. Um, I got a video on my YouTube channel, I will pop them up right here, with what is the best PCT for a SARM only cycle, which applies to this cycle as well. So if you do MK677 in combination with LGD4033, then that would be uh, the best PCT if you don't want something heavy as Novadex or something on the body. Um, now, if you guys have any questions about SARMs or whatever, or, or what, what are the best sources, go to my Instagram. I will be doing questions and answerings there very soon. Um, I will be connecting with my followers there a little bit more as well. So just if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will try and respond on all of them. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Um, go to the link in my Instagram description, by the way, guys, if you want to have decent quality SARMs and those are all the sources you know I, I provide to people with discount codes as well 
but I only do these companies because I know these companies are legit and I tried some companies myself and at the end I noticed that um, the quality wasn't always the best or had people coming up to me and, and say like, uh, whoa man, I didn't feel anything or it was some underdose the edible or whatsoever. So just because it's not approved by the FDA, they could put a whole lot of shit and garbage in your capsules and you don't even know what you're taking. So. If you want to have legit sources and decent products and just go to my Instagram biography and just click on the link and everything is there. So, okay, like I said, that was it for today's video. Thanks a whole lot for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing some more uh, question videos with Dr. Tony Huge from Enhanced Athlete as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any requests about topics or videos I should make, please feel free to contact me as well, guys. I got one-on-one -on -one online coaching programs available. Um, so just contact me, guys, and let's get massive together. Let's get smart together and get your knowledge up, guys. It's a white boy from the yard.